When babies or toddlers get a common cold or another virus, it can turn into something called bronchiolitis. Tiny airways in the lungs, called bronchioles, swell and fill with mucus, making it hard to get air in and out of the lungs. Younger children are more likely to have breathing problems from bronchiolitis than older kids and adults because their airways are small. Children who are born premature, at a low birth weight, or with other medical conditions are also at risk. Viruses that cause bronchiolitis spread easily when someone coughs or sneezes. Germs can stay on hands, toys, doorknobs, and other surfaces. People can be contagious for several days or even weeks. Bronchiolitis can cause a bad cough, stuffy nose, or fever. Kids may act fussy, tired, or not feel like eating. Many have to work harder to breathe. Sometimes they may wheeze. A wheeze is the whistling sound that happens as the air tries to push its way through tight airways. Some children are hospitalized so doctors can watch them closely. A child may be given extra oxygen, breathing help, or IV fluids for hydration. Because bronchiolitis is caused by a virus and not bacteria, antibiotics do not help. Most children with bronchiolitis can usually go home within a few days. At home, have everyone in the house wash hands often. Use soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds, or use a hand sanitizer. Give your child small amounts of fluids often to help prevent dehydration. Use saline nose drops and a nasal aspirator to suck out mucus. A cool mist humidifier may also help your child feel more comfortable. Before giving any medicine, check with the doctor. Infants need a doctor's okay for fever medicine, and ibuprofen shouldn't be given until after six months of age. Never give aspirin. It can lead to a serious illness called Rye Syndrome. Watch for signs that bronchiolitis is getting worse. Call your doctor if your child develops a fever, isn't eating or drinking well, or seems fussier, more irritable, or sleepier than usual. But if your child is working hard to breathe, go to the ER. Signs include breathing quickly and wheezing or retractions that get worse. Retractions are when the skin of the neck and between the ribs suck in with each breath. Also go to the ER if your child is dehydrated. Dehydration causes drowsiness, sunken eyes or a sunken soft spot, fewer wet diapers than usual, or a dry mouth, tongue, lips or skin. It can take several days or even a couple of weeks for a child to recover from bronchiolitis. In the meantime, help keep your child healthy by washing hands often, avoiding crowded places, and staying away from anyone with a cough or a cold. Keep your child away from cigarette smoke, which can make coughing and breathing problems worse. With the right care, you can help your child feel better soon.